Hello, my name is Seolito Rodriguez and this presentation is titled The Outline. What is the purpose of this presentation? In this presentation I will introduce the outline of my paper. I will explain how the target journals, conversions and exemplars helped me create my outline and finally I will discuss the importance of asking for advice regarding the organization of the outline. What is an outline and why take the time to make one? An outline summarizes the order and logic of a written piece of work. It is the skeleton that supports audience understanding by forcing authors to highlight major points and summarize the detail to be presented under each point, an outline also provides directions that reduce the need for constant inspiration as writing proceeds. So why to write one? It allows the scholar to experiment with the order of presentation. It accentuates the dominant features of the paper as the audience is likely to perceive them and it also helps the scholar define and highlight the value of the work being written. Here is the outline of my paper uh, based on the definition and objectives uh, defined in the previous slide. Um, the abstract and introduction of course. Now one of the major points is what is Bitcoin? The definition exactly that, that the people understand exactly what it is. Uh, why does Bitcoin uh, appeal to so many people? Who is using Bitcoin nowadays? Uh, advantages and disadvantages of this virtual currency. The dark side of transactions in Bitcoin. Uh, interesting facts about Bitcoin. Can Bitcoin affect traditional banking? What is the government doing in relation to Bitcoin? Why should you care about Bitcoin and how can I get and do business with Bitcoin? So uh, I believe that this, uh, that this outline uh, highlights the major points of what I want to cover in my paper. Uh, obviously this is still um, at the beginning, this is a living document and I will continue to seek advice from uh, friends and, and colleagues and uh, uh, people in, uh, in the community that I'm writing for. So obviously this uh, may change um, in the future for the final paper. Sources for your outline. It is important to consult your exemplars outlines as a useful source of outlining advice. Uh, basically you're looking for a format, a logic that fits the purpose and the style of your paper. Uh, you gotta be careful with this though. Um, remember that your value to scholarly conversation depends upon your you're saying something new. So uh, if you look at this outline, it is an out way of seeing what's out there and uh, what are ways in which you can contribute to the scholarly conversation. Um, keep in mind to be uh, innovative with form and content, but only with a purpose. Asking for advice for your outline it's also a very important. Um, make an effort to establish a community that can give you personal feedback. Uh, in, in my case this is very easy because um, I work in information technology. I have a lot of friends and colleagues that are in technology and they are very interested about the uh, topic of Bitcoin so I have the opportunity to uh, conversed with these people all the time and I get a lot of feedback. Uh, make your own evaluation of the outline that you have written. 
the essential framework for evaluation is uh, obviously the uh, reader's perspective. Um, and um, it is also very important to ask yourself the following questions. Are the headings of my paper informative when read on their own? Uh, can tables and figures be read without consulting the text? I think that tables and figures are very important because they give you visual to your paper and um, and this is uh, something that um, it is better absorbed than just words. Is the basic message of the paper clear from reading topic sentences? So all of these are uh, key components when asking for a advice and when writing an effective outline. Okay, so we have gotten to the conclusion of this uh, presentation. What did we cover? I introduced the outline of my paper. I explained how the target journals, conversants, and exemplars helped me create my outline. And uh, finally, I also discussed the importance of asking for advice regarding the organization of the outline. Thank you for uh, watching this presentation. I hope that you have enjoyed it.